Investigation of Curves, Section 3, Limiting Behaviour, Video 1, Vertical and Horizontal Asymptotes. An asymptote is a line that the curve approaches as x tends to plus or minus infinity or y tends to plus or minus infinity. Vertical asymptotes occur when the expression for y is a fraction with denominator equal to zero and numerator not equal to zero. Horizontal asymptotes can be found by evaluating the limit as x tends to plus or minus infinity. Let's have a look at an example. Find the equations of the asymptotes, the curve with equation y equals x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2x. Well, we can start by plotting this in GeoGebra to see what it looks like. So I'm going to put in y equals x squared minus 1 for my numerator. And then my denominator is x squared plus 2x. And then I need to divide those. And there I've got my function. So y equals x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2x. Now it looks as if there is a horizontal asymptote. It looks as if as x is getting negative over here, and then also as x is getting positive over here, it's getting closer and closer to the line y equals 1. And vertically at x equals negative 2 and at x equals 0, I've got two vertical asymptotes by the look of it. Let's see if we can prove that those are in fact asymptotes. So vertical asymptotes are going to appear when the numerator is non-zero and the denominator is zero. So x squared plus 2x equals zero and x squared minus 1 is not equal to zero. That's where I'm looking. Let's start by checking where x squared plus 2x equals zero. So that's at x equals negative 2 and x equals 0. Now I need to check that x squared minus 1 is non-zero. And at both of those places, it is non-zero. Hence, x equals negative 2 and x equals 0. Our vertical asymptotes. Look at that written out neatly. So vertical asymptotes occur where x squared plus 2x, that's my denominator here, and x squared minus 1 is non-zero, that's my numerator up here. And so I solve x squared plus 2x equals 0, so that's at x equals negative 2 and x equals 0. I check that x squared minus 1 is non-zero at both of these points, hence there's a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2 at x equals 0. So to find the horizontal asymptote, I need to know the limit as x tends to infinity. And I can use my computer algebra system to do that. So let's open up GeoGebra. So I'm going to open up the computer algebra system, make this a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to put in my function. So I've got x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2 times x. And then I want to know the limit as of expression 1 as x tends to infinity. So I can just type in infinity like that. And that gives me the limit as x tends to infinity is 1. I can also check the limit as x tends to negative infinity. So I just type in negative and the word infinity. And it also gives me 1. Let's look at how I'd write that up. So using CAS, the limit as x 
tends to infinity of x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2x is equal to 1. So the line y equals 1 is an asymptote. Here's that written out neatly for you. So using CAS, the limit as x tends to infinity of x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2x equals 1. So y is an asymptote. Alternatively, we could have rearranged it. So we could have rewritten x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2x as 1 plus 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x and shown that this tends to 1 as x tends to infinity. In this video, you've learned how to find vertical asymptotes and how to find horizontal asymptotes.